Hello. So I'm doing a second video tonight because over the last few months um, I've received so many beautiful packages from people, you know, pe people that have subscribed to me, people that I talk to on Fragrantica, um, yeah, just YouTube people and I haven't gotten round to doing the thank you-ness of it all. It's brain fry. When I look at them all, I think I've got all of these samples, so many reviews to be getting on with, and some really beautiful perfumes to hopefully share with you guys and review and open your, I was going to say eyes, nose to just maybe some new people, some new perfumes and new perfumers as well. So, not to go on too much, and um, the most recent one I got today was this one. This came from um, Natalie Patel, who happened to be my competition winner uh, that I did a few months back in summer. Um, she insisted that she sent me something. Natalie, you're supposed to give, get a gift from me. I mean, obviously I'm very grateful that you sent me these, um, but thank you anyway. I really can't thank you enough, especially you sent me some really gorgeous perfumes that I've wanted to try for ages. Um, everyone needs to go and check out her channel. She reviews beauty products, perfumes, Natalie, you have a very calming influence. When I watch your videos, I just seem to relax. I don't know if it's your voice or the way you light them, but um, your videos just have a very calming influence. So I will link the subscription to Natalie's channel down here. Um, go and check her out. She's an Aussie. I love my Aussies. Um, she sent me um, some really, really gorgeous perfumes with a cute little note too. Look. Yay! Um, there's some, there are some outstanding stuff in here. There's a limited edition Shalimar. Um, there's a Chanel exclusive. There is um, one of those really cool Guerlain's that come in the tall, narrow bottles that I really can't wait to try. I've not ripped this open and smiled everything. I'm usually pretty strict with myself. I like to just put them away and then one day just pull one out and then just whack it on and then wear it for a few days and review it. I'm, I'm just a bit OCD like that. Plus it's more exciting that way rather than putting 20 things on my arm and not knowing what the hell I've just done. Um, but yeah, there's a Frederick Mao in here as well. Um, yeah, there's some pretty cool stuff in here so I'm really, really excited to try. Oh, and she sent me some dreadlocks. Cool, huh? Might wear this out. Anyway, the next one. Um, I received a message when I was on holiday from a very small artisan perfumer, um, her name is Kimberly, she's from Canada. She has a company called, and please correct me if I'm wrong, um, Kimberly, I think it's pronounced Siberi Perfumes. She's a kind of standalone artisan perfumer, like I said, something that I would like to start off being or like to be eventually. So um, she said to me, can I send you some samples? Of course I happily obliged. But she didn't send me samples, she sent me four full bottles of her perfume in packages like this. I won't open them all because it takes a bit of time. But um, yeah, she sent me, and they're oils as well, so they're really strong, they're going to last me a really long time. Um, but she sent me four, sorry I keep bending down because I have to get the stuff off the bed. She sent me four, she wrapped them really well, <laughs> thanks. Um, yeah, four full bottles of oil. This one's called Vladimira. A lot of them are based on, named after ch the, um, you said it was Tudor that you liked. Um, yeah, there's one called Rasputin as well. Um, yeah, I've sniffed some of these. There's a chocolatey one. There's a really nice powdery floral one. I mean, I'm gonna review them all anyway, um, at some point, but I'm overwhelmed with samples right now. <laughs> samples make this boy really, really happy. Anyway, next one. I got um, quite a while ago, and I haven't said thank you to this person, and I'm really sorry that I haven't. Ben, Evil Dead 2002, please go and check out his channel somewhere, wherever it is down here. He's another fragrance reviewer, and he's a Brit. Um, I might have mentioned him before, actually. Um, he reviews um, a lot of niche brands, a lot of really interesting, unusual perfumes, and he sent me some. Um, some that I've wanted to try for a while as well, because we've talked about it a few times. Um, there's some by Rido in here, there's an En Voyage perfume, um, there's something by Smell Bent, who I've never tried anything from before, so um, I'm really excited to try these as well. And he put them in these really cool little twisted, they were twisted until I started ripping into them, I don't know, 
little piece of paper. Thanks so much, Ben. That's, that's really, really cool. And go and check him out, everyone, because um, it's nice to hear of another Brit on on YouTube. Um, another accent, even though you're from up north. Um, but yeah, so, well, it's the Midlands. <laughs> I always call anything north of London up north. It's not really, is it? You're from Birmingham, aren't you? If I remember rightly. But yeah, I hope you're doing well. I haven't heard from you for a while, so um, thank you. Then the next one um, was from somebody on YouTube called Claire de Lune. Um, such a nice lady. They sent me this. There's Tom Ford Velvet Orchid in here. Um, yeah, oh god, there's there's all different kinds of things in here as well. I can't even know. Oh, Flora Botanica, the one that's got that gorgeous bottle. I can't wait to try these out. There's also a little mini in there too. So, Claire de Lune, thank you personally from me to you. Samples do make this boy very happy. I know I said that, but it's just discovering new smells is just kind of what I live for. So, uh, And the last one, and certainly not the least, I haven't mentioned this one before. I, I might have, but I haven't done a video for it. There is a really lovely lady on um, the Black Phoenix forums called, she's known as Eris on there. Um, and as far as I know, a very well respected member of the community. I know you've been collecting perfumes for Black Phoenix for ages. She sent me loads, if, I don't know if you can see that, loads of really, really hard to find Black Phoenix perfumes. Because she's got tons. Um, of rarities. She's been around with the community enough time to, you know, have gathered some really, really difficult perfumes to get. So she sent me tons of them. So I have got a lot to be getting on with, with all of this. Put that together with all the other samples I've got, my brain feels like it's going to explode. I want to just smell everything, but I can't. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, massive thank you. It's amazing to swap and share the precious with each other. I mean, you know, I send stuff out too. I'm not just a person that sits here greedy, taking in all the samples. <laughs> but um, it's always fun to receive samples from people. So on with the sniffing, I guess. These will all be reviewed at some point in time. So um, massive thank you. And uh, click down here to subscribe. Got to put that in the end, haven't you? Thanks for watching. Goodbye.